two. What's going on? With EP coming back with another one. Let's get it. We're going to talk some hoops today. We're going to talk James Harden. Yeah, James Harden seemed to be in a lose-lose situation with the Philadelphia 76ers. Yes, he just went in on the GM. Daryl Morey, he was over in China, said he'll never play for organization ran by Daryl Morey. Yeah, that's what James Harden said. After he opted into his $35.6 million deal over the summer, he opted in because he knew he wasn't going to get a max. Daryl Morey, I'm under the impression he promised him a max, and if not, he was going to trade him. That's what James Harden was also under that impression because a few years back, if you remember, James Harden took a pay cut because he said he wanted to win a championship and they need to bring the right pieces in and things like that. So I'm guessing him and Daryl Morey had an agreement. Like, hey, you take a you know, pay cut this time around and, you know, I'll take care of you. When you, you know, have one year left on your deal. And James Harden, he's honestly in a lose-lose situation. He, he just got a ball out this year so he can get that max contract. He does. He does because Philadelphia said they're not going to trade him. Over the weekend, they said they're not going to trade him. They're not. And he's with the championship team. You got Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey. You, you and Embiid have to step up. Talking James Harden and Joel Embiid, they have to step up. These guys, it's almost like they're perfect for each other because they, they both go to panic mode in these big games. Yeah, James Harden, Joel Embiid, they go panic mode, man. They tuck their tail in them big games. They tuck their tail in them big games. It's almost like these two are meant to play together. But I like their styles together as well. Like the pick and roll with James Harden, Joel Embiid is one of the best, you know, pick and rolls we have in today's game. You know, along with LeBron James and AD, they pick and roll is nasty. But James Harden and Embiid, they have a nasty pick and roll. They do. And these two guys need to step up and they can, you know, get, get to the championship, possibly win it. It's these two guys that have to step up, Harden and Embiid. But yeah, Harden said he'll never play for organization ran by Daryl Morey. That's what he said over in China. That's what James Harden said, but he's in a lose-lose situation. He just got a ball out. He just got a ball out. I'm under the impression they had some sort of agreement, like, hey, you take a pay cut, you take less dollars here, we'll you know, return the favor. And James Harden, that's why he's calling him a liar. That's why he's calling him a liar. Or he promised him he'll trade him to a team where he could, you know, get that deal. Clippers is off the table. He's not going to the Clippers. He's not. Or at least right now, right now, because they closed off trade talks. But James Hard trying to spark it back up. That's why he said what he said in China today. So we'll see how this play out. But James Hardy got a ball out, man. In a lose-lose situation. You know, this is the last year on your deal. And if you want a match, you got a ball out. So. Let me know what y'all think. Drop something down in the comments. You know I ain't gonna stop. Comment, like, subscribe. That's where you can help you share the video. You know I ain't gonna stop. You can't check me anyway. Let's get it.